Surely you've realized who they are by now, Sarah Valestine. The dead soldiers who, even after losing the Northern War, couldn't throw their pride away. The deserters from the Northern Jaegers. Unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, you and George really saved my bacon that time. Hmm, is that Reen I sense lurking out there? Oh? <laughs> Why don't you come in, silly?
Oh, this is nice. Why are you... Something like that. You don't understand, Michael. <laughs> Show Who's yourself! Is my cousin. He was born Michael Revelt. We were, once. But ten years ago he took his mother's surname. And abandoned the name Revelt. It was after I had the man who took my family away executed. That man was my uncle. His father. Perhaps you're familiar with the Revelt Company? They're known for making musical instruments. Well, they were originally located in St. Ark. My father was the president, and my uncle the vice president. The company was doing well. But more importantly, our family was happy. Until an horrible car accident. There weren't many of them on the roads back then. A stolen truck crashed into us. Then its driver disappeared into the night. In the end, they never found him. It became a cold case. My parents and my little brother died in that accident. But by some miracle, I survived. And my uncle's family took me in. After my father's death, my uncle came through my father's things. I found the account books. Flipping through them, I noticed something strange. The Revelt Company prided itself on offering high-quality, carefully crafted instruments at an affordable price. But certain entries showed unbelievable spikes in profits. I had a feeling something was wrong, so I looked a little deeper. Each account book I read put things in starker relief. He was making a fortune, selling cheap, mass-produced instruments from abroad under the Revelt Company name. He even had the gall to commission a product he could sell as maestro class to scam people out of even more money. I knew Father must have noticed his brother's wrongdoing and planned to question him. But before he could, the accident took his life. When I confronted my uncle about this, I was a friend of your father's in military school. I thought the accident seemed peculiar. Do forgive me for allowing you to suffer for so long on your own. Somehow, he knew the truth behind the accident. But the fact that I knew took him aback for a moment. Until he said... You have a gift in ability. Why not use them to avenge your f All so I could enroll in the military academy, suggested by His Excellency. All so I could enroll in Thor's. <sighs> Colleague. 
Not that I've ever felt like I deserved it. I gave in to my desire for vengeance and mercilessly sent my own uncle to his death. Ten years ago, my aunt and my cousins cursed my name as I robbed them of the man they loved. I imagine they must still hate me for what I did. Green. Oh, you really are too kind. To be perfectly honest, you remind me of my brother. Emil. His name was Emil. If you were... I think he'd be about your age. Thank you for hearing me out, but I think Sweet dreams. Guess it's kind of hard to get much stronger than 96%, though, huh? <laughs> right? I knew you'd be able to appreciate it. Never thought the day'd come when I'd get to talk with you over drinks like this. That new Class 7 of yours? They're a good bunch of kids. They're all pretty unique kids, just like you guys were. But I know things will work out for you. I mean, come on. They were all so worried about you, they ran headlong after you. You already knew, didn't you? Who those purple Jaegers are. That's so. Guess I've still got a ways to go myself in that case. From being disbanded. The outcome was decided from the start. In the middle of that farce of a war, you managed to save the lives of tens of thousands of citizens. And the Jaegers you met today? I think they know that. But maybe it was impossible from the start. Fixing a country already being destroyed from within by Jaegers. You probably knew that too. Whoopsie! Well, you see, he was... He was my first love. Well, actually, he was the closest thing I had to a dad. Way back during the Northambrian disaster, when the salt pail covered so much of the principality in a storm of salt, a man took in and thing. I knew that Jaegers who came back with foreign currency were considered heroes. The man who raised me was one of the leaders of the Northern Jaegers, 
the heroes of our homeland. I looked up to my dad more than anyone. Wanting to be just like him, I joined a juvenile Jaeger Corps at the age of 10. After a few years of harsh training, I was admitted to the main corps at the tender age of 13. It was there that I experienced my first real battle. It could have been because he was once part of the Principality's army, but he was quite the gentleman. Now that I think back, he never seemed to like the fact that I became a Jaeger. Anyway, he left me with those final words and passed away in my arms. I screamed and screamed until my voice gave out, until I passed out from utter exhaustion. When I woke up, I was in an Imperial army camp. Hell. A field of death, where lives are tossed aside to satisfy someone else's desires. There I lived, smoke and blood painted across my body. And there I stayed, eventually becoming the Jaeger known as the Purple Lightning. But after a while, it reached a point where I couldn't take it anymore. When I was 18, I was assigned command of a squad. We had a mid-aisle, and all my comrades had already packed up and left for home. Hadn't even thanked them before rushing back to my hometown. And what greeted me when I got there were celebrations and congratulations from my friends and the townsfolk. We had lost my father, but we won the war we were hired for. The nobles had given us an enormous pile of Mira. That meant we wouldn't die of starvation during the coming winter. I was relieved, but my tears just wouldn't stop. That way I could send some money back home. Money that wasn't stained with blood. <laughs> I'm not strong or kind. But I think I've finally started to get closer. Little by little. Closer to being like the man I admired so much. My dad. My command. The thing I showed you is called Zector. Sorry, that's the most I'm gonna say on that one. Well, with that, I bid you good night and sweet dreams. This is truly an honor. Here, a reward. Good work out there.